Um, as Moshimua says clearly, Kenya mm. needs China because mm. of the kind of mm. relationship we have with China and the amount of loans mm. that we owe them. But there's, there are people who ask, does bilateral relas uh, relations mean we surrender our sovereignty to another nation, so much so that even work permits that you know, normal Kenyans can do in the streets, we are granting work permits to foreigners to do the same thing? Let us prepare policies. And regulations to uh, guard that. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I think first of all, I must say, in any relationship, mm. bilateral or otherwise, mm. uh, uh, there are moments of discontent or conflict may arise along the way. Mm -hmm. But whenever that arises, I think a, a solution should be sought diplomatically. Uh, there is need for our Ministry of Trade and Foreign Affairs to engage diplomatically with uh, the China government. Uh, as opposed to the pronouncements that we see publicly coming from our, our, our CS. Mm. Having said that, I think uh, it is a matter of policy, as he puts it. Mm. It's a matter of policy, government coming up with policy, we as legislators coming up with legislation mm -hmm. that kind of put some, um, uh, some caveats or ring fences certain opportunities or businesses mm. for the locals. Mm. You know, when that is done, mm. then uh, room for conflict is minimized, it does not arise. Uh, uh, then we, we do not end up blaming any country for coming up and taking up what we feel or believe should be rightfully for the locals mm. only. Mm. And also, we, it, 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 it's a wake up call. It means we need to go an extra mile, and that is why we are saying we are realigning our budgets. Mm. We must put money where it should go so that we are able to spur our manufacturing sector. Let us begin to produce all these items and goods mm. so that our people can buy and consume Kenya. Mm. 